Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save bar. We are jumping in again. Last time we played as Samson. This time we have Azazel. The only thing we have left to do as Azazel is Delirium or Greedier mode. So it's kind of a tough choice on what to go for here. Because Greedier, obviously we get a like better unlock. But Delirium is just like so sort of situational that I don't even know if I can do Delirium. But we'll play as Azazel anyways uh, because we'll build up our streak. Um, I'm, I'm liking where our streak is going at the minute. I want to keep it up as long as we can, obviously. It just at the minute, I'm, I'm really, really just enjoying the streak. And I'm hoping you guys are as well. It's actually be an interesting um, question of the day. What's your highest win streak on Isaac? Um, and are you enjoying, like, watching the win streak more than regular episodes where I'm just playing? Like, does it add some value to the content for you guys? Uh, oh, my God. Magic Things is so good. Um, and, um... Also, on top of that, like, if, if, you, if you're not a sort of a person that's had good win streaks on Isaac, what are some other games that you've had some really good win streaks on? Maybe some other roguelikes. Boy, this is a hard decision. I, honestly, while I don't have a lot of money, Bob's Rotten Head is so much better. But, goddamn, that's a hard choice. Because Magic Fingers is is really good. Like, really, really good. It's, it's way better than I used to give it credit for. Like... Um, it scales off of your damage, so if you have good damage, you can spend, like, two coins and clear out a whole room. Or deal pretty good damage to a boss or whatnot. But, Bob's Rotten Head is also really, really good, because it can one-shot bosses. Especially in the early game, which is exactly where you want it to be one-shotting bosses. Obviously, as I say, all right now, we don't have much problem with damage, so that's why Magic Fingers isn't as important. Uh, because we do have the dual functionality with, um, Bob's Rotten Head of it. Also being a reusable bomb, which I honestly don't really use it for that much. But the fact that it can be used for that gives it sort of the edge. Gives it a little bit more to go on, a little bit more usefulness. Good. I, <laughs> I just I just love that. And there we get cat and nine tails as well. That's very, very nice to see. Very, very nice to see indeed. I'll do the rest of the floor here to see what we've got going on. Um, nothing. Okay, that's a bit of a strange room there. Bit of a strange room. Just a bunch of explosives. But let's uh, let's go to the next floor. We don't have a cash room here. Um, we can take regular old path here. Probably going to go angel deal at this moment in time unless we get a lot of HP this floor somehow. But yeah, it's, it's, it's good to be back on Isaac. I was saying this in the last episode that I recorded. I'm obviously back from my trip from Amsterdam now. And it is it is nice to be back playing some Isaac. It's it's just like that old familiar. Like it just, it's a it's a comforting, oh, baby. It's just a comforting thing playing Isaac. Like it just feels like obviously part of my daily routine at this point. And so it feels kind of wrong when I don't play it. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's nice to have a break from the game every now and again. But um. It does sort of feel off when I don't play it at least once a day, so it's it's nice to be back in the routine. Okay, you give me two pills, I'm going to have to take two pills. The range down sucks real hard. My Tursus is fine. The range down sucks really hard. Um, we already had pretty low range, and this has made it significantly worse for us. That was nice, though. Hey, there's some more range back added on there. Makes me feel a lot better. Would have been better if we didn't lose the other range to start with, but still. Right. Let's keep it moving. Keep it grooving. And keep her going on. Oh, look at my little mitosis babies. They're so cute. We've got some um, spicy keys there. I don't think we want to grab those at the minute because we've got plenty of keys. Oh my god, our range is just so much better now. Nice. Oh, look, Penny as well. Gotta love that. And we're going in for our item room now. See, the good thing about Bob's Rotten Head as well is we also get the benefit of the Poison Cloud, which doesn't last crazy lengths of time, but it lasts long enough to be pretty useful. Honestly, if I noticed this room was this big, I probably would have uh, waited to use Bob's Rotten Head until they were a bit more grouped up. I thought the main chunk of enemies was in the middle. Turns out I was wrong. Honestly, my mini Isaacs are kind of doing a great job right now. Come back and get that key in a moment. Um, boom bow. This gives us access to the shop. Well, not access to the shop, but you know what I mean. It gives us access to buy something from the shop. Oh, lovely amount of bombs there. Unfortunately, Sagittarius doesn't do much for us, but it is at least a speed up and a planetarium item, so it's not terrible. But yeah, it's not ideal. Right, we'll check what the shop's got on offer for us. Hopefully something nice. 
Uh, unfortunately, it does not have something nice for us. We will bomb this guy, though, and try and get a bit more money out of him. And on that front, I'll buy that. And I was very happy with that purchase. Okay. Not an ideal haul there from the shop, but oh uh, well. Um, we haven't had a cash room yet, so no, no need to use our full card quite yet. We skipped our devil deal here. Hopefully, we can get the angel deal moving along. But yeah, since I've got back as well, I've just started started to try and get back into my exercise. Because obviously, while I was on holiday, I wasn't exercising. I was eating a lot of food. And I've put on a significant amount of weight from my holiday and the, the week prior to it and the week after. Um, but eh, that's what holidays are for, right? So now I'm getting back onto my exercise regime. I went, I went for a, a run this morning. And although like my leg's been hurting a little bit, because I kind of mentioned it in a previous episode, it's been hurting a little bit. Um, and the walking that I did, um, or the walking that I did in Amsterdam... Obviously didn't really help with that, uh, but I needed to sort of get back into it. So I'm hoping it's not too bad. It didn't feel too bad today. Um, I managed to do like 8k, I think I did on my run, which is pretty decent for getting back into it. Work my way back up to 10, sort of 15k eventually, um, and hopefully shed off some of this weight, especially considering that um, I have a wedding coming up in just a few weeks. Um, not this coming weekend, but the one after. Um, it's my girlfriend's cousin's wedding, so... Explosiva, yes please. Explosiva, I think, yeah, I guess Explosiva does work with uh, with our brim. Quite nice, actually. Very good, very nice. Uh, we do have golden bombs here, so I'll be checking everything. Copper bomb, I don't care for you. Dice room, I don't really care for. It's probably a good room to just scatter some bombs around. It's not super high chance to find a crawl space, but there's a chance. Why not go for it? Eh, nothing. But yeah, Explosiva is a pretty good item that I really like, so I'm happy to have it. I should probably try and find Magic Mush here, to be honest. Pop in here real quick. Um, Beggars, eh, we might as well take that. It's not terribly bad. Not terribly bad at all. Right, let's 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 clear out to the boss first, and then we'll sort of figure out what we're doing with our bombs, with golden bombs. We want to be finding secret room and stuff, of course. God, I didn't charge it quite enough. Do need a fire rate increase? That would help. Yeah, I say I'm trying to find the crawl space, but not desperately so. Like if I don't find it, it's fine. Good. Oh god. He almost landed directly on my head. Secret room? I don't really know right now. This is going to be kind of guesswork. Um, this is second secret room. Ooh, toy drum is certainly something that I would pay for. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that didn't get the other mushroom. Wow, I can't believe I just walked into that shot. That was so silly of me. Okay, let me quickly go back around and see. We, we've, we've seen our item room, of course. We've got explosive out of it. Um, we've seen our shop because we've got this donation thing out of it. Now we're just going to look around for magic mush and whatever else we can find. Didn't think it'd be either of those, but you had to check. Right, where do we think secret room could be? Where do we think it could be? Have we been this way? No, we have not. Hey, I'm super glad I came this way now. Extra little soul heart that I was not expecting. Don't think that's secret room either, but again, gotta check. I'm guessing it's to the right and up. Yeah, I think it's here. Oh god, he's jumping as well. Get out of here. A nice bit of extra money there, which is going to help with getting Toy Drum. And a bunch of extra money there as well. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, we also got in here. Another range down. I don't think I'm too privy to that. Uh, is that room worth it? Yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, now this is a kind of tricky one. Because this book... Gives you, um, black hearts, but you take double damage. So basically, we want to keep it until the womb and then get rid of it. Open up both of those. 
I will take it for now. Um, I, I think it's probably a good idea with this character, because especially if we can get, like, the trinket that means black arts do more damage, which is obviously kind of unlikely to get with this, but you can you can be hopeful. We can be hopeful. Right, let's go and try and get Toy Drum, shall we? Um, obviously, we've got quite a lot of money here, so we'll hope that we don't take too long to get it. There you go, we've got Toy Drum. And the Eternal D10 I don't care for, so we'll uh, keep our money here. I was hoping my bomb could get him there, but not quite. Oh, that was really stupid of me. And I took out full heart of damage as well. And we get the Fraudulent Fungus. Very nice. Um, that gives us some range as well. Lovely looking range there. Right, keep it going. Hope for the Angel deal on the next floor. But yeah, this this uh, active item, it's, it's kind of risky. But I think that with a character like Azazel, we're less likely to get hit. And so it's, it's pretty useful for us. God, that range is very, very nice, I've got to say. Um, glass cannon there. Don't think we really want that. Goddamn crabbers. But yeah, just with it being a three-room charge. If we can get anything that makes it charge up even faster, that would be even better. But I doubt that's coming our way anytime soon. Good. Just charged up so fast. Another luck penny is lovely. Okay, be a little careful with these guys. There you go. And you see what I mean? We're just getting black hearts like crazy. It's an interesting idea, really, for an active item, I think. Oh, how come one spider keeps living? Stop that. Uh, how do I get through here safely? Dude, stop with the borders. Oh, this doesn't even stop when I... Oh, God. It's okay, we're fine, we're fine. Shop though, we get Tarot Cloth, which is pretty decent. I will take it. Spawn three random hearts. Hazard. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Valuable. Good. Uh, stores an extra heart does not count against Devil Deal. Ooh, this is real good. Really, really strong trinket here. Basically, we can store an extra hit that gets taken off before everything else. Very, very nice. Pop that. An Explosivo will do a good job for us here, I think. Stay out the way, there's fires. Hey, we got green orange, which is super goddamn good. We got Soul Heart out of it as well. And holy hell. Okay, we got some revelations here. I like that. Okay, we got the double beam going on now. We've basically have no need to use our regular beam at this point, but we can. Uh, this is this is good stuff. Revelations, you gotta like it, you gotta love it, you gotta want some more of it. Um, and with our active going on here as well, I think we're in a pretty goddamn good spot to do some pretty wicked damage. Crack that open. Camo undies is pretty awesome too. Basically means our first brimstone into a room is like free. Although that didn't charge correctly, though. I don't know what happened there. That was weird. Don't know why I'm doing the rest of the floor here. But yeah, what I think we're going to do with Revelations is basically only use it on room entry and for the rest of the room use normal brimstone. Just so we're not constantly waiting for it to charge. We'll take that up just so we've got an extra um, book for bookworm. Lovely. And health is looking very good now. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, we always keep it charged and use it when we enter a room and then just swap over to regular brimstone so we're not waiting for that really long charge time. But it's nice that both things charge up so we get like a bit best of both worlds there. We could look for secret rooms here. I'll look for second secret room, but I'm not going to fanny around looking for everything. Um, treasure disc. Treasure disc. Use them both, why not? Devil. Let's go. Yeah, I like these runs that are just nice and easy breezy. This is actually looking like a run where Delirium is very much on the table. So that would be pretty awesome. I think we got Dunce Cap for a, a hot minute here. Good job we've got some way of uh, getting around it. Gotta wait for this to charge up. Could you pop yourself up? There you go, friend. Thank you. 
I don't need to use my active at the minute. Ooh, we got a library here. This could be actually be the, the point at which we switch over to a different book. Um, and it very much is indeed. So we've got full black hearts now. And we get bookworm here, which is obviously really nice. Um, and we, no we now no longer take double damage. And we get Hedonist Cookbook, which is incredible. Hedonist Cookbook is super goddamn good. Makes life easy breezy. Can we get rid of the goddamn dunce cap now, please? It's getting a little annoying. Like, it feels like it's been over a minute at this point, and the game's just kind of taking the piss. Yay. Goodbye, dunce cap. You are annoying as hell. Oh, just so nice. Shops have been pretty generous for us so far in terms of uh, not having greed in them, which is nice. Fortunately, the items haven't been super stellar. The, the tower, the, the tower. tower. Make life a bit easier. Good, good, good. Do revelations for this bit. Good, good. I'm looking for more luck pennies now. I've been getting so many of them that I'm like, ooh, they're everywhere. Pick up all the pennies just in case. Ah, the respawning curse does make the Hedonist cookbook not quite as good. Enemies keep responding. Look, another luck penny. We're getting so lucky here. It's crazy. We get judgment. Um, I don't really think we care about either of you paying out. I'll be honest. Don't think we mind. Good. Good. Right, we see, have we seen our item room yet? No, we haven't. You know where the item's going to be. It's going to be back at those rooms that are way away. I did not mean to walk into that. But, actually, thinking about it, it takes off our... Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was insanely good. We got Grabber. Gotta love little Grabber. Um... Should I pop this here? Not really great there. Um, yes, yeah, so we have to go back and find our item room. Yeah, Grabber I'm not particularly happy with. <laughs> Out of uh, Solar Lilith, there's a lot of better things we could have got other than Grabber here. I gotta say. Grabber's a little bit of a, a shithead. But we get to take a heart from our trinket here. Lovely. Linger Bean. Glad I made the extra trip to come get Linger Bean. Wait, I just want to check. If I go in here... Um, I will take the Glass D6 and I leave. Yeah, it does take off my Trinket first. Nice. And I can refill up the Trinket. Super powerful Trinket, honestly. It's so goddamn good. Being able to have, hold the red health before any of Soul Hearts and stuff is insane. I suppose... We're on Necro... Okay, we're on Necro 1. Let's, let us let me just do this first. Okay, wow. Insta-kill there, pretty much. HP, I'll leave that for now. Uh, grants a random wisp. Okay, um, I think I know what we're going to do here. I'm going to... We're going to re-roll all of this. And we get some pentacles, which I quite like. Immaculate, which doesn't do anything for us, unfortunately. And the axe, which is pretty good. Cool. Pretty happy with that. I will take this, and that's okay. And we'll keep on going down. I think we're in a pretty good spot here. I think that was a pretty goddamn good reroll. Oh, God. What is this mess? People that design these rooms... I just need to know, who hurt you? <laughs> it's just... I just have to sit here. <laughs> I 
Not, it's not that fun. <laughs> oh my god, it's finally over. That was a fun room. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Boom! look at that damage. All right, we can go in here with half of our red heart trinket. We got Soul of Golem, which is interesting, but unlikely to be useful. Runes are more common, nah. Damage when there's a when a uh, curse is present on the floor and rocks occasionally leak gas. Yeah, I'm not really interested in the others. Ain't my flavor, thank you. Ain't my flavor. Yeah. Good, good. Extra penny. You know what's a good room to do that in? Rooms where it's only one type of enemy are the best rooms for that for that cookbook. It's a bit of an insta kill. Um, don't think there's anything we need to do there really. We're pretty set to be honest at the moment. Pop in here, pop that bad boy. Got a white can kill you guys. Bit strange. Wow, the shop we've been getting really lucky with. Ceiling of the stars is really nice. Um. Ceiling with the stars is really, really nice. Basically, every single floor at the start of the floor, I believe we get uh, two Lemmageddon Wisps. Bloodshot Eye is fine. Yeah, we just get two Lemmageddon Wisps at the start of every floor, which is pretty lovely. And we also have Pentacles here as well, which is giving us Lemmageddon Wisps when we pick up items. Basically, it gives us a duplicate of the item we pick up. Good. Fill up our heart again. Pop that real quick. It's not working on some enemies, and I'm not quite sure why. I'm not quite sure why. Good, good. Goat Hoof doesn't really do much for us. Boss time, I think. Oh my god, that damage is so crazy. Lovely. Ooh, we do get Perfection, uh, which I don't think is actually that useful for us thinking about it now. Uh, we want to go Light Path, I think. Doesn't really matter. Uh, no, we'll take negative because then we get the extra damage. Um, check what's go got. Ah, we don't know what's going on there. We won't, we won't take any of those. Perfection, I don't really think does much for us. I think the heart is much better. Um, we don't have any... I think Explosivo isn't even based on luck. It might be, but I don't think it is. Yes, yeah, so we get the Stealing with the Stars thing here. And yeah, we got two Lemmigate and Wisps. One of which is fucking Libra. Um, and I think the other's... I think one of them's Libra and the other is fucking Curse of the Tower. Are you kidding me? That's offensive on how terrible that is. Um, I'm gonna try and get rid of them. While I've got, uh, Hammer Undies going. Right, this is gonna have to be a little bit of a project here. I need to not take damage. Okay, they're all gone. Good. <laughs> Fucking what the hell kind of BS was that? <laughs> oh, here's two Lemmageddon Whips. Here's two literally awful items. Congratulations, you've won. <laughs> Fan-fucking-tastic. We do need some extra um, keys here for the hush fight. Get out of here, skedaddle skadoodle. Hopefully, we can go the right way here. But you never know. Hey, that's the extra key we're looking for. Can I just say as well, like, I know I've had these resprite mods on for a really long time, I don't really talk about them anymore. But the respray of Explosivo is so good. <laughs> I've had Explosivo in my inventory for ages, but I'm just looking at it now and I'm like, that's a really goddamn good respray. It just looks so much better. Thank you. Another library. Unexpected. Unexpected. Okay, we got... 
gives a technology gives the effect of a technology item. Is that permanently or just let me let me let me check. So we get tech two. Okay, no, it's just for the room. Not very good then. Random Zodiac Planetarium Wisp granting its effect. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take, stick with the cookbook to be honest for quick clear speeds. Don't really need anything else. What the hell? Why did that do? What? Did you see that? That did like no damage to him. I'm not quite sure why that was. Oh, good dodge there. Good dodge. Keep it moving. Open another key there. We'll go back and grab that real quick. Lovely and lovely. This should be the boss right here, I reckon. You go. Dodge that real quick. Okay, get our revelations beam ripe and ready. Oh my god, half the HP bar, HP bar in one go. So lovely. Um, that doesn't do anything for us. We won't take that. Uh, Flight and Spectral. Wow, we. <laughs> That's gonna do a whole lot of good for us, thank you. <laughs> oh god, I hate it when you like playing as a soul heart health character or you're just playing as a character that can't take advantage of an item. Right, what, what do we get this time? We got Mongo Baby and I think that's Enigma Bombs or yeah, I think that's Enigma Bombs. Not bad, not bad. The moon. The black heart, at least. Wow. Okay, where are you gonna pop up? Good, good. Don't even know what happened there. But it was over pretty quickly, I know that. Oh god. Yeah, then after this, I'm gonna record some Darkest Dungeon. It's gonna be a good time. I had to take a break from that last week because I was away, but. Gotta tell you, Darkest Dungeon, very good series. If you haven't watched it yet, go and give it a go. It's very intriguing. A lot of community engagement. One of my favourite series on the channel at the moment. It don't get the respect it deserves, I tell you. Unfortunately, I do also realise that the game just isn't for everyone, so... <laughs> people will try it and it's just not for them sometimes. But it's a shame, because, yeah, I'm really enjoying it, and the people that are contributing are all very talented. And I get to work with viewers all the time, which is always fun. Um, there's this guy called Penn Simmons, um, who is now Pendrop Poet, I believe, on their, their uh, Discord name. But they're, they're constantly in the, in the comment sections of these Isaac videos and stuff. And their writing skill, I mean, everyone on the writing team is just fantastic, but their writing skill really stands out as just absolutely incredible. Also, they are a very, very talented musician as well. Um, they, they, they like, released an album pretty recently and dropped a link in my, uh, in my Discord. So if anyone's interested in some cool music, you should definitely go check that out, because it's very, very good. I, I bought it myself. Ah! Oh. Didn't quite, didn't quite stave off this attack. Luckily this attack is a lot shorter than it used to be, so not as bad. Sadly no thingy fight this time around, but I think we're definitely in the clear to do a delirium run here. Uh, so I'm going to go for it. Another luck penny. The luck keeps climbing. Um. Well, this is range as well, so I think I'll take this. And but honestly, this is better, I think, as well. Let's start looking for the crawl space. I've been forgetting to do that recently. I've been forgetting about the crawl space. Damn, no crawl space. 
Wow, such value. <laughs> well, at least check what this is. A hey, magician's pretty goddamn good. Makes this fight a hell of a lot easier for us. Oh god. Yeah, that was really overwhelming for a hot second there. Ah! I forget how to do these goddamn attacks. I honestly don't think I want to use revelations too much. I think I just want to keep firing and getting as much explosivo bombs on him as I can. Okay, just be careful because we've got we've got good range, but it's still limited. It is still limited somewhat. Oh god, he, he whips out the flies. Whoa, the herming there went crazy. I love it. Honestly, Mum's contact was a good shout just for freezing things as well. Look at this freezing. Also, yeah, when you spawn things, dude, you get absolutely wellied with uh, explosives, which is kind of funny. Right. We're doing pretty well here. Yeah, look, because all the explosives fall off of the flies and onto him. <laughs> I love that. And the fact that Mom's contact works on him as well is kind of crazy. This has been a very nice and speedy fight here for us. Ah, oh, bugger. Finally got hit. It's been a while since I've been hit, but this attack does kind of wake me out sometimes. Not all the time, but on occasion it really gets me. Especially as a short range character. Wanting to kind of stand in a specific location to hit him. But it looks like he's keeping up the charade with this attack, which is mostly fine. Explosivo is doing its job. Sticking and getting a lot of kill uh, a lot of kills, a lot of damage in. I think we're pretty happy to go to Delirium after this with still having this much health. Remember to go back and buy the Soul Heart though. If it's missing HP, why not? There you go. Nice and easy kill against Hush there. No problem there. Quickly go back. Buy the Soul Heart. And then we can be on our way, still at full HP. And we can also actually uh, grab this heart as well to fill up our trinket. Oh no, trinket's already full. Very, very good. Very, very nice. Right, away we go. We can actually get a completion mark here. Obviously, Delirium does have some inherent risk, but with Revelation giving us that extra range, I feel like that risk is mostly mitigated. Right, let's see what we've got going on. We've got Finger, and we got... I don't know what the other thing we got is. Whatever it is, it's turned my shots a different colour. It's not Parasite. I'm not quite sure what it is. Right, let's see if we can kill some other bosses before Delirium here, but I'm okay if we fight Delirium straight away, if that's how it, things go. Ooh, what the... F I've never seen these enemies in my life. <laughs> kind of scary. Remember, we've got Kedna's Cookbook, which is immensely powerful on this stage, because enemies that are tainted have a lot higher HP pools, but they still die in the same way if they're the only enemy in the room. Like these guys look. Insta-kill on them. Got the frail here. Careful of those spiked rocks. Beautiful. Forever I'll learn. Thank you for the encouragement there. Exactly what I wanted. The only thing is, there's a lot more champions, which means enemies don't have the same amount of HP a lot of the time, which makes Hedonist Cookbook worse. But it's still good for the single target rooms. It does work against some bosses as well. 
Don't know how I didn't manage to get hit there, but happy for it, I guess. I think the uh, the pin shot. Oh, is that what we've got? Is it the pin shot that we've got? Pinhead, is it called? It must be Pinhead. The lamb. Wait, what? I thought the, I thought it was only bosses that you already fought that could show up. Or is that when it's actually Delirium? I think that's when it's actually Delirium, isn't it? You can only transform to bosses you fought. The bosses you find around the floor are actually just whatever. Store whistle? Not particularly useful, I'll admit. Maybe more useful than heeding his cookbook, though. We need to try and find a good card to bring in with us as well, if possible. Good. Nice. Everything dead? No. Most things, not everything. Bit of a pain in the arse there. Drop another boss. Beautiful. Magic 8 Ball does give us a card at least. Unfortunately, not a card that we care about at all. That doesn't do much for us either. Trying to find a really, really difficult room to use this card in now. It's so that one in it. Good old bit of blue baby. Giving us the hard bosses at the minute, isn't it? I'm probably going to take some damage on this guy, I'll be honest. This guy is a lot more tricky than he used to be, and he does have boss armor now. In a way, at least. Yeah, there you go, there's a hit. Luckily, that only affects our um, trinket, though. That's not proper hit. Once we get a few explosivo shots on there, like, it's fine, but at the minute, not doing a great job of that, to be honest. He's kind of dashing them all off of himself, teleporting around. And this little sun thing in the middle is, uh, not helping our cause. That's a few explosivos, lovely. Okay, we got him, without taking any real damage. Wow! Thank you for Breath of Life. And we get a blurt that spawns at the bottom of the room. How useful for him. <laughs> Number two is... Number two is decent. It's got a charge bar now, so it's decent. Not ideal, but it's decent. Got quite a lot of bombs out of that. Again, not that we needed them, but... Nice to have them nonetheless. Tractor beam. Now, that's an item that I can get behind. Um... Be careful here, so I don't accidentally buy that red heart if I can. I don't even know if I can, but... Tractor Beam is pretty goddamn good for us, because I think it's a fire rate and a range up. Yeah, it's quite a big range up, and it's a fire rate up. Lovely. That puts us in a very good spot. Ooh, also we fire tears now through our Tractor Beam, which actually means that our Sagittarius piercing is useful. Look at all the charge bars around our head, I love it. It's beautiful. Good old tractor beam. Bit of money there. Good. Keep getting the keys going. Soy boy. Locusts of War is pretty useful, but honestly, this trinket's still top dog right now. That's not something I'll be buying, thank you. Okay. 
Keep it moving. At this point, I'm not quite sure where our boss is, but... I'm kind of okay with searching most of the rooms before I find our boss, so it's fine. You've got to be mega dead, right? Yeah, he didn't even get a chance to respond. That's what I like to see. Okay. Oh my god. A little bit overwhelming here. The grabber dude is going crazy as well. Ooh, I like the way this guy's red foot in the womb. He is the womb version of himself. Taking a while to die. A little gish, now thank you. Come on, we got I guess I'll say we've got to find a boss soon. I love the way this used like weird tile sets as well on this floor. Isaac now. All the end game bosses. The good thing about Tracks being firing more shots is it's more chances for Explosiva. Oh really? You just got a bunch of Explosivas on you and just dipped. Rude. The, ex the, the Explosiva plus the uh, freezing from Mom's Contact is pretty nice. Dad's key. Great normally, but not right now. This could be it here. This could be it. It's not the... It ain't. Could be, but it ain't. Hey, butt bombs plus... Does butt bombs plus um, number two stack? Because they're already butt bombs. But do they gain extra AoE damage? I don't actually know. That's an interesting boss card for that guy. I have no idea if the effect stacks. I, su I suspect not. I'd be intrigued to know. Ooh, Mr. Dead and Mr. Fred paired together. Got all of seeing them together. Cool. We've got to be nearing the boss now. Feels like we've been pretty much everywhere we can go. Yeah, we're back over this way now, look. We went very much the wrong way. Oh, thank god we killed this room so fast. Dude, Mum's contact is so goddamn good for us. Okay, this has to be the boss now. I mean, why not? <laughs> not gonna be useful in here, but there you go. I mean, give a Seraphim, I guess that's something. Right, try and use Revelations more than anything else, because, uh... The extra range from that is going to be useful. We do have pretty goddamn good range as it is, though. We've got like a half room length brimstone. Dude, Del Delirium's so much more of a like plausible boss with the mod that uh, shows you like the off screen indicators one. Now, he, unfortunately, he does have, like, all of the endgame boss forms to transform into right now because of, uh, we having to fight them all on this floor. God. It's kind of funny when you've got the, like, the indicator to show, like, where underground enemies are, that mod, and you see how speedy he moves while underground. I'm slowing right now, and it's lasting a while. Ooh, he's in regular form. Get in there. I'm, I'm, I'm literally face tanking the damage right now because he's in regular form. He's got no boss armor. It's a rarity that he does this, so you just want to take the damage and try and kill him. Explosivo is going ham. What a great item to get so early on. He's dead. 
We got him. Pretty easy delirium fight there, actually. That was, uh, I'm very happy we were able to get a completion mark out of that. It wasn't looking super likely, but, to begin with, but we got there. And, yeah, we, uh, got ourselves a nice little unlock, hopefully so. And, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.